Hello fans, welcome to Suzy Farms. Here we focus on agriculture, animal husbandry, aquaculture, and agribusiness, where we bring research to practice. Our products are purely organic, from the farm to the table, so we can eat healthy food. If you are new here, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and hit on the notification bell. Permit us to serve you with some cola nuts and palm wine, so you can relax while watching. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Do you feel hopeless about climate change and the damage we are doing to our planet? Yes, I did. But then I found a new way to look at the problem, which made the solution so obvious and so within reach. A solution that's right here under our feet. Yes, the solution of climate change is right under our feet. It is the soil. Carbon can be farmed into the soil if only we start to regenerate our soil organism to restore soil health. Yes, carbon farming is a solution to climate change. Come, follow us. Let's check it out. Climate change is all about too much carbon in our atmosphere. The carbon is not our enemy. It is the building block of life. Everything alive is made of it, even us. The problem and the solution are simply a matter of balance. Let's step behind and look at the five poles where carbon is stored on planet Earth. Starting about 500 million years ago, when plants appeared on land, carbon began to circle in an amazing balance. A balance that allowed for life as we know it to evolve. Then one form of life, us, figure out how to extract carbon from the fossil pole. Then we burn it for energy, putting it into play and disrupting the, that balance. The way we manage land and do agriculture is moving even more carbon from the soil and biosphere into the atmosphere. Specifically, we've moved about 880 gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is heating up the planet and destabilizing our climate. Now, the oceans have absorbed a lot of this excess carbon, which is resulting in ocean acidification and accelerating a mass extinction of sea life. So, what do we do to save life? In order to save life, we have to stop releasing fossil carbon into the atmosphere. Then look for ways to capture the excess carbon that is already in the atmosphere so we can get this circle back into balance. You remember when I said that the solution to climate change is healthy soils. Please kindly like, share, and subscribe as we give you the details. Plants with sunlight and water perform photosynthesis. They pull in carbon from the air and turn it into carbohydrate sugars. Then they pump some of those sugars down through their roots to feed microorganisms, which use that carbon to be soil. Bingo! Carbon can move. Plants pump it in and soil stores it. Nature's life technology is amazing. Scientists have recently discovered that applying a thin layer of compost will set off an ongoing positive feedback loop that brings more and more carbon into the soil each year. In concert with other regenerative practices like reduced soil tillage, planting trees, cover crops, and plant grazing, we can build and retain gigatons of soil carbon. This is carbon farming. This is regenerative agriculture, and there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. More carbon in the atmosphere is bad for our health, while more carbon in the ground is good for us. 
It makes healthy soil, which is nutrient-rich, full of life and holds way more water. This means more nutritious food and crops that are more resilient in the face of drought. That's good news for farmers, families, communities, nations, and everyone that eats. Remember, the way we grow our food, fibers, and fuel either puts carbon up into the atmosphere or it pulls it down into the ground. The regeneration of soil is the tax of our generation. Our health, the health of our soils, and the health of our planet are one and the same. If we take care of the soil, the soil will take care of the crops and our planet. The secret of biosequestration is in the rhizosphere. The rhizosphere is the area around the plant roots, which is inhabited by microorganisms. Plant roots are working symbiotically with these microorganisms. Let's now look into the rhizosphere to see what happens with the carbon when it arrives the soil. There are very important populations in the soil that makes it healthy for plants to grow, such as bacteria, fungi, nematodes, protozoa, amongst others. Bacteria act like food storage bank for your plants. They are the earth's primary decomposer of organic matter, locking up nutrients close to the plant roots, which may otherwise be leached away by rain. When the bacteria dies, those nutrients are released to feed the plant. Mycorrhizae are beneficial fungus living symbiotically with the root. The root provide the carbon that the fungus need to grow and the fungus transport water and nutrients to the root. What a wonderful win-win situation. Most of the time, we see only the fungus that appears above the soil like mushroom. But there are millions of fungus, bacteria, amoeba, protozoa under the soil that makes the soil fertile. Plants depend on a network of tiny fungus for water and other nutrients. Let's dive below the soil to take a closer look. There is a network of living fungi thread called hyphae. Ants help to maintain soil health by aerating the earth, circulating water and nutrients. Tiny moss may dine on tiny nematodes. Nematodes consume single cell amoeba, which are very tiny that we can't see. Amoeba devour tinier bacteria. Fungus and bacteria decompose dead materials. In nature, nothing is wasted. Let's enjoy the wonders of nature as we explore deeper. Nature living technology is amazing. The hive is spread and keeps spreading it travels until it reaches the plant root. The fungus wrap around the root tip. The hyphae pushes itself into the space between the three cells where a chemical exchange takes place. The fungus provide the plant with essential minerals. While the plant supplies the fungus with energy-rich sugar. Nutrient for energy. It gives me hope to know that plant health, human health, and the health of our planet are interconnected. But we keep destroying our soils with external chemicals, and I wonder why. The application of pesticide, insecticide, and herbicide, the use of heavy machinery, and leaving soil bare 
without cover crop have left us with little or no soil life population. The ground surrounding residential area and commercial properties are particularly lacking in soil life. It is the duty of this generation to get the earth back to the Garden of Eden that it was by farming carbon. Let's bring back biodiversity to a place that was devastated. Planting a garden has a power to change the world and even you can do it. Regenerative gardening actually helps us to reverse climate change by building healthy living soil. Even a small garden has the potential to impact the global crisis of climate change. Start your regenerative climate garden now by growing organic. It is better to plant anything than to plant nothing. Stay away from chemicals. If you don't want it in your body, don't put it in your food. Practice minimal stillage and keep the soil cover at all time. Any plant is better than no plant. They protect and build the soil. Encourage biodiversity for more resilience. Compost. You make it and use it. It is a probiotic regenerative source of your soil life. We can all participate by establishing climate gardens that build healthier soil and helps reverse climate change. So plant your climate garden and share your story with us. Help share the good news. Go tell it on the mountain that we can rebuild soil and regenerate the land and heal the planet. We can restore soil fertility, improve water circles, and sequester carbon in the soil. Be the change and start planting today. Let the microbes, bacteria, fungus, and whatever do the job that nature has bestowed on them. The world needs your voice now. Mother Earth needs you now to take action and start growing organic food. Be that change and reverse climate change through planting trees, crops, vegetables, flowers. Just plant something today. Any plant is better than no plant. Please kindly share, like, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell to keep up with updates. I know you are now excited to hear that plant health, human health, and the health of the planet are interconnected. Climate change can be reversed through regenerative farming. If we take care of the soil, the soil will take care of the plant, the planet, and the people. The answer to our problem is beneath our feet. Healthy soil. Thank you all for watching and see you again next week. Cheers.